there's a door over here. Oh, are we in the attic? I think we're in the attic. Only step on the wooden boards. You don't want to fall through. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Oh, I bet. Also, we're 22 weeks pregnant. We shouldn't be crawling around in the attic. <laughs> That's a good way to go? <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't want to be mean, but that's a creepy baby picture. I don't, I don't want to be mean, but like... Gre oh, this is Gregory! Okay. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to know. He was a year old. Oh, this one's gonna make me sad. This one's gonna make me cry. Oh. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh? When he thought he was alone. Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. It's gonna make me cry! Oh the f the little frog floaty! <gasps> oh. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. Well, supposedly babies, uh, can see spirits. That hands over, Gregory. It's time to... Oh, no. Hold on, sweetie. Hello? Sam, I told you I don't want to talk right now. Uh, oh! <gasps> Little bubbles! Oh, where's the frog? <laughs> what his world was like. Well, he was a, a baby. I'm pretty sure he's got. He had like a really good imagination. The frog. Yeah. You reminded me so much of Calvin. Lost in his imagination. Oh, I don't know if that. That's older music. I don't know if that... Yeah, it's gonna be sad! I don't know if this music's copyrighted, though. I'm gonna turn it off, just in case. So, I'm sorry. Oh, it just made it... Oh, weirder. It just made it feel weird now. Whatever it was oh! he saw... It sure made him happy. Aww. Aww. I don't know, maybe it was a nice spirit or something. <laughs> oh, we gotta get to the soap. Eh. Hold on. Nope. Eh. Hang on, and then. Got I know it. how silly it sounds. Oh, bye, well, Lily! I'm worried about a baby being too happy. Have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your I night. I feel I'm slipping away. Aww. Sorry about that, Gregory. I know you did everything you could. Maybe if I hadn't called that night. Damn it. Did, did she... Hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. Did she, like, accidentally leave us in the tub or something? Oh, there we are. Oh man, this turned into, um, Among the Sleep. I think that's what it's called. Wait. No! No, I don't want to do this! No! I saw what it wants me to hit! No! No! I don't- No! Man, no! I was told this was supposed to be like a, a storybook kind of nice 
this game! No! No! You, you guys saw that too, what I'm supposed to hit, right? It looked like they were going through a divorce and all if kinds of stuff, you, so she's happy too. stressed out, freaked out, etc. All the emotions and all that. Love Sam. But I mean, she could have paid attention to her kid a little bit better. Important lesson for all this? Uh, I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry and yet. Oh, Gus. Oh, this is Gus's story now. Uh, 69 to 82. So they're. A poem for Gus. Like 11 or 12. Who always said the wedding was a bad idea. <laughs> Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Oh? Okay. Pig ran into a hedge and became a hedgehog. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. <laughs> uh, knock knock, who's there? My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Did he not? Want the marriage to happen? Oh, maybe it's like a new dad or new mom or something. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words. Yeah. That's, I mean, I, that's understandable. Uh, you know, I've, I've, gone through the experience of having a stepdad. So I, I see where they're coming from. Granted, my stepdad's so much better than my blood dad. Uh, knock knock? <laughs> Who's there? Where's the... Me just gonna fly this kite. Oh. oh no! I heard that. Did did they get hit by lightning? Oh no! Cause I hear the wind. And, oh no!
You gotta go. That's okay, Clockwork. They've stopped by. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Remember, smile that beautiful smile of yours. Hey, go find something happy to do, because uh, I definitely gonna need it after this. I'm just gonna. Oh, I can't fly into the crowd. Okay. Meow. Oh, there they are. I didn't see that. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign held up his middle finger. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, yes, that teenage angst. The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. Uh oh. Yep. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Yep. I heard it as soon as that wind picked up. Yep. Me, me and thunderstorms don't mix, so I, I heard it. <laughs> Went to the tent. This tent? No. Okay, where's the next set of words? Uh, oh, that's a tree. Also, how are you still able to hold on to this tie? Oh, there we go. The rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Th this is giving me, um, let me sneak in a series of unfortunate events vibes now. <laughs> Which is another good book series slash movie you guys should watch slash read. It's really good. Uh, give me all the chips, all this. Oh, there we go. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, "Make the music louder." Uh ah! -uh! Oh my gosh! No! Listen! To no offense, this dad is dumb. That is dumb! I wish that... Wish what? Oh. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone. Just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't. Until we found you. Hmm. Yeah, so you got hit by the lightning or something. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. <laughs> so, because we're stubborn like Gus. <laughs> huh. We're almost done. We only got Lewis and Milton and maybe Sven, Great Grandma Eddie, and Kay left. <gasps> we got the yeah. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. Aww. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Sanjay? Sanjay. Hmm. Ten ways to teach critical thinking. Dawn. Oh, that's the- that was the name we couldn't read earlier. It was Dawn. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about. But I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Hey, I mean, if it helps, it helps. Uh, can we move it? That 
everything. I think. Yeah, I don't see anything else interactable. Can I go through? Thank you. Okay. Go back down now. There we go. Careful, lady, you're 22 weeks pregnant. I'm just waiting to turn around and see there's like a ghost or something right behind me. Uh. Oh, this says Dawn on it. Oh, because that's her brothers. Oh, Gus and, and Gregory. The brothers. Is that everything? Oh, it's windy outside. I'm pretty sure that was everything over there. I'm not seeing any thing. Oh. No, My mom okay. moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Oh, okay. Lewis was born a year later. Lewis. Okay, so that's our brother. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm no. sure Edie was happy to have her back. Milton, Lewis. And to see kids in the yeah. house again. Aww. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. <laughs> and for a while, things were good. Almost normal. Hmm. Now that's giving me, um, practical magic vibes. Cause it's like, their family was cursed and all that. And like, whoever they loved would die. But it didn't last. Ooh. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday. When Edie gave him a castle. Hmm. The beginning of the end. Milton mysteriously disappeared. Oh, we don't have a key to it. Oh, <gasps> wait! Uh, wait! That's... Uh, the unfinished swan! That's the king's symbol! Hold up! Hold up. Wait a minute. Those are like paint and, and footsteps and stuff. Hold up. I think Edie was happy <gasps> to finally have another painter in the family. It's the frog! Wait, another painter in the family. Hold up. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my gosh. <gasps> That's so cool! Like I said, um, if you Eevees have never seen Unfinished Swan, I, I have a full playthrough of it. You can go watch it, um, or go play it yourself. It's not as dark as this game, but it, it's more on the lighthearted side. But it's so cool to, um, you basically paint, like, the world a little different blocks of paint, like little blobs. And you get the black one at the start like that, and it looks like, you know, ink. You get a blue one, and eventually it's, like, water, and, um, it's so cool. Did Milton just get like whisked away to the other world? Is he the king? Is our brother the king? I think our brother might be the king. 
Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. Yes, because that's, that's the whole thing about um, the finished swan. Uh, can I... No? Can I... Hold on. Why you don't let me... Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's a flip book! That's so cute! This is so cool! Whoa! Wait! We're in a flip book in a flip book now! So you made a, a door with the magic paintbrush. And he's just like, nah, bye. Yeah, he's just like, nah, bye. <laughs> and became the king in the unfinished swan. I was four when Milton disappeared. <laughs> That's so cool, they tied it in. So yeah, this is technically like um a prequel. It explained... That's so cool! Wait. And the the boy you play as in the Unfinished Swan, that's your... He's the son of Milton. So the legacy does can Wait. Huh. Oh, I'm trying to... Oh, I was pressing the wrong buttons. <laughs> Mom spent months searching for my brother. Aww. Then she sealed the doors. Oh. I mean, yeah, cause that happened to her son. Like, that must have devastated her. But I mean, he was kind of good in that game. He was in his own world and all that. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Are we found in the house? So did he start the misfortune? No, because it started with like the great grandparents and all that. What does she mean by that? The the magic paintbrush? It's an Easter egg? I mean it could be like they're just referencing to it. But it's cool that they added it into the story. Can I go up? I can go up. Uh I can't go up. Oh, there we go. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. No. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Hmm. Huh. Did he accidentally get canned in there? Oh, okay. Uh, I can't go that way. This way? 